Gold Fame Citrus, a speculative fiction novel by Claire V. Watkins, presents a vision of an apocalyptic California plagued by an unrelenting drought. The story revolves around Luz and Ray, who reside in an abandoned mansion nestled in the Hollywood Hills. Their lives take an unexpected turn when they come across a rescued two-year-old girl named I.G., prompting them to contemplate leaving the desolate city of Los Angeles and heading towards the lush and hospitable eastern states where Ray was born. The novel is divided into three parts, primarily narrated from Luz's perspective. Luz and Ray find solace in their secluded mansion, which still holds remnants of its former owner, including a wardrobe filled with exquisite clothing that Luz indulges in to occupy her time. The backdrop of the story is a near-future California devastated by an extensive drought. Water, once sourced from various ice caps to sustain the burgeoning population around LA, has been depleted. Californians are now fleeing the state en masse, seeking refuge in camps across Washington, Oregon, and even as far east as Indiana and Ohio. The drought has given rise to an expansive desert that engulfs the American Southwest, spanning countless miles. Despite their deep-rooted connection to California, Luz, a former model, and Ray, a surfer-turned-ex-soldier, find themselves at a crossroads. Their lives take an unexpected turn one night during a city bonfire when they encounter a young girl, approximately two years old, who becomes attached to Luz. Witnessing the harsh treatment the child endures from her negligent and drug-addicted caretakers, Ray and Luz make a fateful decision to rescue her from their grasp. With the presence of the baby, Ray and Luz realize that remaining in California is no longer safe. They come to understand that their journey lies beyond the state's borders, as they embark on a perilous quest for a more secure future. In their desperate pursuit of safety and a better life, Luz and Ray seek assistance from trusted friends who can provide them with forged documents. These friends guide them towards a settlement situated in the heart of the barren desert. Equipped with supplies for the journey and provisions for baby IG, Luz and Ray venture into the unforgiving, resource-deprived expanse, where few survive the harsh conditions. However, their plans take an unforeseen turn as their car runs out of fuel after being led astray by a series of detours, carrying them far beyond their intended path. Ray sets off in search of supplies, leaving Luz and IG stranded under the scorching sun, battling heat exhaustion and dehydration. Fate intervenes when wanderers from a nearby settlement stumble upon Luz and IG, rescuing them from the brink of death. The kind-hearted inhabitants provide them with water and shelter, but the news of Ray's demise in the desert shatters Luz's heart. Within the settlement, Luz finds solace in reinventing herself. She learns to care for IG under the guidance of a nurturing yet authoritative older woman, and a romantic relationship blossoms between Luz and the community's enigmatic prophet, who leads the settlement. However, as Luz becomes enamored with the prophet's spell, she falls victim to his manipulative tactics. Consumed by addiction to a hallucinogenic root cultivated by the prophet and enchanted by his deceptive claims of discovering water sources, Luz unknowingly becomes trapped in a web of lies. Meanwhile, Ray, who has endured imprisonment after being captured in the desert, uncovers the truth about the prophet and his illusion of magic water. His knowledge leads him back to the settlement where Luz resides, determined to rescue her from the prophet's clutches before it's too late. Along their treacherous journey, the novel sheds light on the consequences of poor climate decisions, featuring irradiated citizens residing near Yucca Mountain, a nuclear waste repository, and the mistreatment and racism experienced by the Mojave refugees in the camps. In this gripping tale, Claire Bay Watkins paints a vivid portrait of a world torn apart by the repercussions of environmental negligence, exploring themes of survival, deception, and the resilience of the human spirit. Claire V. Watkins is an accomplished author who has published two notable books, Battleborn, a collection of short fiction, and Goldfame Citrus. Her talent has garnered recognition, as she was honored as one of the five under 30 by the National Book Foundation. Watkins has received numerous awards for her literary contributions, including the prestigious NPR Best Short Stories of 2012 Award and the Andrew Carnegie Medal for Excellence, among others. In interviews, Watkins has revealed that her writing is deeply influenced by her parents, Martha and Paul Watkins. She fondly describes her mother as a skilled storyteller, someone who possesses the ability to captivate with her words. As for her father, Paul, he was once connected to Charles Manson's infamous family. 
During Manson's trial, Paul provided testimony, shedding light on Manson's concept of helter-skelter, an apocalyptic ideology. These familial influences have undoubtedly shaped Claire V. Watkins as a writer, infusing her work with a unique perspective and a profound understanding of storytelling. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.